Hello guys. Hello all the beautiful people on social media. So welcome to another Granny's Ride Along. I'm on my way to pick up my grandson from uh, the school bus. Because his mom and dad both had to leave today and go to work. Normally, his their mothers, most of my nieces, daughters, daughters-in-laws, and all of them, they work from home. So I said, how terrific is that? During my time of working, we had to go report to work. But now, since uh, C-19 came and gone, a lot of people gets to work from home. Now when they came up with that idea, I guess it worked so good for a lot of companies, they decided to just uh, put it inside their, you know, uh, every, everything, all their work habits, I mean all of their work schedules, that they get to work from home because they still, uh, some of them was more productive when they was working from home. But anyway, that's what I'm on my way to do. So I have to go like an hour away. So I said, okay, I'm just going to pull up and let you guys ride with me. And so as I drive down this road, I was just thinking of all of the content creators that came in in the year 2021. Because I started my platform in 2020. I think I'm right. But everybody that came in behind me. No, let me see, 2020 is when I had C-19. So it had to be, it had to be 2021. So I came in in 2021. So everybody that came in behind me, like 2022 and 2023. So I was asking myself this question. I said, all of the ones that came in behind me, that's when a lot of the fighting started, you know? I mean, just really going beneath the belt. A lot of gut punching. Just uh, young women really showing all the hate that has built up inside of them throughout the years. Oh, they can come on here and say, oh, I'm not, I don't have no hate in me. It's your action. See, they said action speak louder than words. So you can say one thing with your mouth. But when I sit back and observe you, I'm looking at your action. And I see a lot of hatred there. And being an elderly person, I don't walked in this world and in this life for over 60 something years. And we all have been taken through changes. And you remember the song with uh, Chaka Khan? Love will take you through changes. And life will take you through changes. And you don't come out unscathed. I mean, we all go through this. If you're living and you're breathing, you know, went through some changes in your life. You can't go, you can't miss it. Even God put it in his word in the Bible, in the book of Job. Man born a woman. When they say man, they're not talking about male. They're talking about the human, the human race. Man born, born a woman have few days. So we have a few days here. But it says full of trouble. And it's true. We all, everybody say, you know, heard people say, girl, if it ain't one thing, it's another. See, it's always something coming at you. But anyway, um, when people say that, when they say full of trouble, if it ain't one thing, it's another, that, that's just what that means. It's always something. You know, and if we have a, a dry spell, 
uh, 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 smooth, a uh, smooth spell where everything is going okay and great. Then you know it just it's just short lived. And when they say in the Bible that a few days, and everybody say, well, a hundred years, that's not a few days. But you got to remember in God's realm of counting days, a thousand years is but one day with the Lord. So you got to remember that part. So that's why that's in his word. But... And I was looking at all the people that came in behind me. All of this venom that's being spitted, spurged from their mouth. And when they say the, the, uh, the power of the tongue is life and death, man, I have said that hundreds of times. But before I came out here on this social media platform, I couldn't relate. Since I've been out here, I have seen how mean spirit some people can be. I could say for no reason, but it's not for no reason, it just what they've been through in their lifetime. It's a build-up. It's a build-up. It's a build-up of being hurt. And they say hurt people hurt people. It's a build-up of uh, losing loved ones. It's a build-up of pulling away from the church, pulling away from God, blaming God for everything. It's a lot of things that make people be so mean. But it takes me back to the question that I started off with. Why did so many of these creators come out and start platforms? Now, I know when you came out on these platforms, my reasoning was, oh, when I saw this lady doing this content, being a content creator, I said, I can do that. Is that all I got to do is just go before the people and talk? Well, I can talk, so I can do that. So that was my concept. And then I just had to get in where I fit in. So I'm asking you guys, did you all have that concept? That you can do it, and you want to prove to yourself that you can do it? Or did you have the concept, uh, I'm going to go and get, I'm going to go get, I'm going to go get treats. Cause she is a mess. She just, I never met anybody like her. She is awful. Look how she treat her children. Look how she live her life. Look how she be on, on, on uh, social media talking about her sex life. Look how she treat people. Look how ghetto she is. You know, did you all dissect her that way and decide to come out and talk about her because you all didn't like the way she carried herself? Or did you say, look at that Rosalind. Who she thinks she is sitting there on that couch talking about treats like that? She can't talk. Look at her with her fat self. Look at her, how she hold her mouth open. Look at her teeth in her mouth. Look at her eyes. Oh, so she's sick, so I'm going to talk about that. What were your reasoning? Did you? Is that the only reason you came out on social media to fight? Did, was that the only reason you came to social media to show how mean you could be? To show how good you could cuss a person out? To show how many curse words you know? You got to remember now... That social media platform, that camera is pointing at you. You represent you your own representative out here, baby. And whatever come out your mouth, that's the cap, the hat, the crown that you're stuck to walk around in. That's what you gotta wear. Now, I'm not saying people can't change, but I don't see you guys 
that's doing all of this, the negative stuff, trying to change. You guys seem like you're just all right with the way it is. And it's a real ugly look for a woman. Women have a air, uh, a R about themselves. They don't, they, they want to be represented as women. Soft, feminine, you know, uh, soft-spoken, very ladylike as far as what comes out their mouth, how they look, just those are the things women back in my days have always wanted to um, be represented as like that. But these women out here, I said, oh my God, what happened? What happened to everybody? Why are these people carrying on this way? And then I tell you guys, when I first started out on, on social media, it was no such thing as doxing. We had a, a group of people The group of people was Ask Granny, India, Brown Tan Johnson, Burnett, Legend, and I think it was like one more, I can't remember, but shortly after then, Tanya came into the picture and Ocean came into the picture. That was almost like the last of the first group of people that decided to uh, come in and band together and try to beat off some of the people that was attacking Trees. Trees had like, you, you guys, I kid you not. Trees had, before Ross came along, Trees had like 50 to 75 different platforms attacking her. I kid you not. Every platform that was out here were talking about Trace. Everybody. We're talking about how 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 terrible of a person she was in their opinion. So you had so many people, even uh Chrissy, tea time Chrissy, she used to talk about Trace. Don't let her fool you. She's sitting up there with her hands all tucked and hid behind her back now like she always been a supporter of Trees. No. She was coming hard for Trees, y'all. Just like everybody else during that time, okay? So it's okay to, for people to change their minds. It's just like, just like everybody else. So she was one of the ones we would go after and try to get her to calm herself down and stop giving this lady such a hard time. Yeah, she was one of them. And anyhow, then we we tried to get everybody to leave alone, and we had just got everything under control. A lot of people start packing up. A lot of people start packing up, going their own in their own direction. They didn't want to do it no more. A lot of people. So us five or six people that was uh standing up for her, we got a lot of these people to back down and leave her alone. Just for her to come and tell everybody she didn't want our help no more. Leave her alone. She gonna hire her an attorney and she don't need our help. So it was okay. Me, I welcomed that news because I was tired. I was tired of fighting for her and then she, every time we took two steps forward, she'll knock us back five steps. Because she'll do something to give them to talk about. She was doing it on purpose. It was a game to her. She was not, she didn't, she didn't want them not to talk about her. She wanted them to talk about her. And she didn't care whether it was good or bad. But us, as new content creator, we thought we was helping her. But she didn't want our help. And I mind you guys, she didn't ask for it. 
That was our fault. We exerted ourselves on her. She didn't ask for our help. We felt sorry for her. We felt like she was being attacked, and we tried to help her. That's the real deal. That's how that went down. But she didn't want our help. So, when she said don't help her no more, she got a lawyer. Of course, we found out later she was lying. She didn't have no lawyer. She she just wanted them to. The uh, people stopped talking about her, like I said, and so she saw where she was not being talked about as much. So that's when she told us to just stay out of it, leave her alone, stay out of it. She don't need us. So that was fine. So we left. A lot of us left. But India, she wanted to pursue it. She just gonna. She was just determined. She was relentless to still help Trees when Trees no told her out of everybody, don't you help me. You the main one. Only thing you do is blow my phone up and tell me all this bad stuff that's going on when people saying bad things about me. Why would you do that? Why do you tell me everything? Some things don't tell me. But India was keeping the shit going. Because she kept calling, telling Trees everything. Okay? Then, after Trees got rid of us, the first group, Indian decided that she'll go recruit some people. That's when Shonda came into the picture. Lucinda came into the picture. Shay Shay and her sister. Uh, what's that girl that Oz is dating? Um, I can't. I can never think of her name because I never talk about her. But you all know who I'm talking about. That lady that that Oz be that, this Oz is dating. Oz is dating some girl. I can't think of her name. But that's when they came into the picture. Ocean came into the picture. And then you went out and recruited Oz. I don't care what he say. He was not in the picture. That's why when she promised him, Trish was gonna pay him. To get Coco off her, he went in. He was never funny. And the way he went in was so childish and stupid. It never made any sense. Only thing he was do was take your picture, post it, cut your head off, and put an animal head on your on your face, put some eyes on your face, you know, just stupid, childish kitty shit. That's what Oz would that's not Oz. That, that is what Ocean was out here doing. He don't got battle with it, but it's still messy and shitty because he be messing with people that's not messing with him. But he was so upset because once he thought he had did his job, no money came through. So for the next two or three weeks, and then Trish telling everybody to uh, back up off her and don't help her. So for the next three weeks to a month, Osha was out here venting. He was mad at trees. To the point he was blaming India. Because India is the one that promised him that Trees was going to pay him. So when he didn't get his $400, $800, I don't really know how much it was. He started bashing trees. Talking about how she wasn't no good and how she wanted him to screw him. Screw her and just saying everything. Ocean was saying all of that. And Andy was nervous and telling him, don't worry about it, calm down. She's going to get him his money some type of way. She's going to get that money for him. So he waited and he waited and he waited. So to the point I started feeling sorry for him because I felt like this was his uh, uh, do all be all. This was it. He didn't have nothing else. And when he didn't get that $800, that kind of uh, shook his household the way he was acting. Because he didn't have no job. He still don't have no job. He still is waiting on the Social Security check. I don't know how long he's been waiting. But, yeah. But anyway, when he didn't get that $800, that man lost his mind. That man was so mad, he didn't know what to do with himself. He was seriously upset very upset 
So, after that pass, and then you're out, then you're out here recruiting people, here comes Shonda. And then you know, you know brought her in. Shonda was the first person in this section to dox. And what she did was, out of nowhere, she came out talking about allergic to the BS. Telling everybody who allergic to the BS was. I didn't even know it, it mattered. Because I didn't care. Only thing allergic to BS was doing is running all the Treats videos and narrating them. Talking while the video was going. Treats struck allergic to BS channel twice and had all of her videos taken down. Which kind of destroyed her because she didn't have nothing but Treats videos on her page. Nothing but. And I just thought it was wrong on her end to take people's videos and use them in the way that she wanted to. I'm talking about alert to the BS. So I had made a video about it and I thought I was like, well damn, before I can get paid for my video, you running my video talking about what I'm doing. So instead of people finding out who I am as a new content creator, you you got people coming to watch my video on your page. And I thought that was low down and dirty. And a long time I watched Allergic to the BS. I watched her videos, but I didn't know that I was watching Allergic to the BS. I thought I was watching Treats videos. Because Allergic was running all the Treats videos. But so I started telling people, I alert the people, and I said, start watching the page name before you hit that play button because we got a lot of content creators out here allergic to BS, Burnett Perkins they stealing people videos and they running it on their pages so if you want to see me and to support Ask Granny you need to make sure that when you click on you click on to my page Ask Granny because other people are using my videos and that's what allergic to the BS was doing the whole time so I watched her for a long time, almost three to six months before I realized that I wasn't watching Trees. I was watching Trees, but it was being ran by somebody else. You know, it was just crazy what these people was doing. And it was wrong. And it was lazy. If you want to uh, support your channel, don't support your channel using my video. How am I going to... Uh, blow up or be be made known if you are running my video. Only thing people got to do is just go to Allergic to BS to see what Ask Granny is doing. But it wasn't me. She only ran like one or two videos of me. But it was Treats big time. And then I guess Burnett Perkins liked that allergic style to the point she started running everybody's videos on her page. And she thought if she say if she shout you out, then it was okay. That shit wasn't okay with me. I was pissed. I was pissed about it. My sons had to talk me down. Because I was going to snatch her page. And I reported her ass and everything. Because I didn't appreciate that. Because she was low down and dirty about it. I'm telling you how she would do it. I'm talking about Burnett. If I release a video... 15 minutes before or uh, 15 minutes after I released my video, she already running my video on her page. How low down is that? But she called herself friend. I said, the hell is that so? If that's what you call a friend, baby, I don't want you to be my friend. See, that's how I run. That's how I, that's how I do it. So, just because you laughing in my face, smiling in my face, but you running my video, getting paid off my video, that wasn't cool. So you not my friend. Don't do that. You were just a low down dirty snake doing that. And kind of calling me, running up behind me, <laughs> hey, ass granny. And then I always want to talk about your personal life. I don't want to hear that shit. 
That was between you and your husband, girl. But you want to tell everybody what's going on in your life. And then got the destiny to be out here now, this day and time, trying to talk about somebody, girl. You shut up. Just burn that park and shut up. Because you got too much of your business out here on social media to be talking about anybody. See, I didn't tell you anything about me. How many kids I got? How many grandkids I got? I tell everybody that. But anyway, back to the story. Shonda ass was the first one came out here with that doxing stuff, y'all. She came out here and she doxing allergic to BS. I never, I was like, what the, what, what's going on? I didn't even know what doxing was. And then when she did that, allergic to BS dots, uh, I think she dots ocean. And it was on and popping then. Then all the new people came in. Everybody wanted to dots everybody. And it got ugly. But it was not a thing in this sector to dox anybody. Shonda started that mess. She was the first one. She drew blood first. Shonda did that. And it's been a mess ever since. So all of these new people that came out here. And then I think Shonda also was the first one got mad at Ocean. No, what they did so uh, allergic to BS took Shonda's page down because she had just started. She hadn't even got, she hadn't even made her thousand subs when she did that mess because she came out messy. When she did that, she didn't have a thousand subs. So allergic, allergic to BS and other content creators band together and took that page down. And that's the first time I heard somebody come on and curse like a sailor. It was Shonda. And everybody, I guess everybody liked her style because everybody that came behind her cursed like a sailor. Just cursing and cursing and cursing. Every word, you was either a B or MF and everything but a child of God. Every, 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 I mean, that's what they did. It was crazy, but that's how they did it. But anywho, I got plenty of time. Um, so I was asking everybody, so what was your, what was your be all go to? What was your go to? Be all do all. What was your be all do all when you first started out here on this social media platform? Why did you come out here? Did you come out to to embarrass yourself and your family? Because that's exactly what a lot of you guys are doing with all this messy mess. You're just embarrassing yourself. And I bet if anybody looking for a man in their life, nobody want, no, no man want no woman to talk like you guys are talking, okay? Don't no man want no woman that, that talks like that, that carry on like that. They might will screw you, but the one that the one that they want to take home for mama to meet, I don't think so. They are not gonna take you home to meet their mom with mouth with a mouth like that. That ain't finna happen. That ain't finna happen. So I want to let you guys know how some of this stuff started out, and I just wanted to just ask these new people. You know, when does it stop? And I mean, that was the second group. And then the third group came in. They got even more vicious. Vicious. And now it's even more vicious. Seems like every new group that comes out, they won't, they outdo the, the group that was ahead of them, their predecessor. They outdo them with, with the cursing and the wishing death on people and talking about children. It's so, it's so bad now. It's just garbage. You know? It's just like being in a dump with rats. 
I mean, it's lower than uh, people backstabbing, cut your throat. You say it's a den of thieves. It's worse than that. It's just so bad, you can't even describe how bad it is. And some of the things that women, I guess they still feel like women. I don't know. They might have so much testosterone to where they don't even feel like women anymore. They might think they're men. Because they be out here bucking, talking about, I bet you won't pull up. Talking about gun fights, like, they, like, like we still living in the wild, wild west, you know. I be like, what the hell? I don't see a softer side of women out here. I don't know what happened. I don't see. Now, when I watch Roz, and y'all think I just be trying to brag about her. I just, in her demeanor, I see her, the girly girl in her. I see her daughter, Nana. She's a feminine lady. I like, I like her softness. But, uh... Dada, you know, she's young, and she got to find herself. She ain't been through half the stuff a lot of us older women have been through. Because her life is just starting. So right now, it's fun for her. I remember being young like that. I had a mouth on me. I had a mouthpiece. And my family, they still remember. And sometimes they don't let me live it down how I used to be. Because I had a mouth on me. I would say the worst thing. And I'm going for the gut. The gut punch. I'm going to try to say something going to hurt you really bad. So that's how I was when I was in my teens. Late teens. Early twenties. But see I growed out of that. But you women that's 40 and 50 years old. Oh my God. Life been really bad to you guys huh. Anyway. I want to end this uh, video with this song. Here I stand looking, looking around me, while all around me, what do I see? Unhappy faces behind the painted smile. Heartache and loneliness Dressed up in modern style Unhappy people Living in sin and shame Reflections of myself Life is no easy game We're caught in a tray win A tray win of our time Tray winds are blowing Blowing around me while all around me, what do I see? Hatred and jealousy, brotherhood is dying, love is the answer, nobody's trying, good people turning bad. Some don't, but there are few. The winds are blowing. The choice is up to you. We're caught in a trade wind. A trade wind of all time.